All right, hello again. Uh, so I'm a little farther along here, show you my little more progress. Um, got the uh, furnace ducting all run up in here and across to the other side. Uh, the cover's on that side so you can't see it, but it's all up in there. And uh, today I am be boxing in from here back to the back here uh, and these two little corners I don't know if they show up in here or not but uh, maybe back in here anyways that's got to be all all boxed in uh, from this height here or no sorry this height here back to here uh, camera is getting in the way so anyways to block that all off <clears throat> and then um, originally what my plan was to have uh, you know this aluminum here skin with aluminum here and have two inches there's the inside floor have two inches of insulation but uh, you know as you're building on the fly as I tend to do I found that if I drop this down you know this is the height of the of the um, uh, top of the uh, toolboxes back here anyways um, and that was dictated by that ducta ducting that comes across the top of the, the radiator there so uh, anyways I decided to drop this all down and close that in uh, you know inside and, uh, and then I can insulate so I dropped that five inches so I'll have a lot more insulation back here and I think what I'm going to do is once this is all done I'll pull that flooring up and I'll just spray an inch or so of uh, spray foam all the way around all the seams and just seal the whole thing up with spray foam and then I'll, I'll uh, insulate it with rock salt like the rest of the floor it's better for uh, sound deadening apparently than uh, foam so uh, so that's why I'm using rock sole on the floor and there's enough room here that I you know I still end up with uh, pretty good insulation uh, R factor so uh, up at the front here uh, let me hang on a second I'm gonna pause this and I'll crawl inside okay so um, what I did up in here is I angled this piece of aluminum from uh, the engine compartment here I angled it down to this five inch uh, you know right, right this is the, f the bottom where the furnace ducting is and then that kept it away from so it didn't obstruct the fans at all so um, that's uh, why I did that so and it's all boxed in on the ends and everything here so it's all sealed or will you know it'll be all sealed up permanently when I uh, when I um, spray some spray foam in there um, this I got to pull this panel back out put a little bit of a crease or a, a bend in it here to, to get it to match this here I just ran out of time yesterday so I'll pull that back out and uh, then I'm gonna pull all this stuff out of here Pull all the panels out and uh, de-rust and coat it. <laughs> so, um, hope to have that all done by the end of the day today. Famous last words. And here's from up inside here. Uh, there's my uh, furnace duct on the passenger side. There's going to be a desk in this corner. Uh, and then the other side, I have it. Out a little further, and because uh, this is going to be the closet across the across the back here to about where that masking tape is there, so it's about uh, just about five feet, four and a half feet, something like that, uh, wide, and uh, that's going to be the closet and drawers and all that kind of stuff. So, anyways, time to get at it. Okay, so another little bit here so this is in the 
engine compartment back with the fans here. Uh, this is the aluminum skin. I'm all pretty close here, so it's hard to get much video, but that's the idea anyways. <clears throat> like I said, I angled this piece here so that it uh, doesn't interfere with the fans. Both sides. So that's uh, that worked out well. Uh, and then there's this panel here that covers the uh, furnace ducting from one side to the other. And that'll give me a cavity that's, uh, I believe it's almost seven inches deep um, that will, six inches I guess, that'll allow me to um, fill it with insulation. So that'll be nice to have more insulation back here. And some from outside here now. That's what that those panels look like. Let me get down a little lower here. It's all uh, skinned here. I don't know if this is going to focus in there or not, but anyways, it's all skinned to the back of the to the back of the frame of the bus here now. can stick this in here far enough that yeah there we go so that's all skinned in there like that to seal up the back of the bus that was the last of the what I had to do to uh, to actually seal it so I'll go up inside here now and there's what it Looks like those panels from the other side. So now I need to make the last piece of this plywood flooring to go from here to the back of the to the rear of the bus there. There's my furnace ducts, one there, that'll be under the desk, and uh, and then there's the other one over there. There'll be the closet and um, drawers and whatnot, basically back in there. About uh, I guess it'll be about four and a half, four and a half feet wide, and full height of the of the bus here. So, anyways, so what I'm trying to do, as I said before, is get it ready to be able to uh, insulate here in the next. I don't know. Well, within the next couple of weeks, I'd like to have it by the end of end of uh, April or you know first week in May kind of thing, have it um, uh, ready to insulate. I'm going to go along and cut uh, plywood strips eight foot long and um, put them on the uh, you know uh, just strips every whatever. I'll probably from uh, this height here to the bottom I'll put three so one at the bottom one in the middle one there and then probably the same thing three or maybe four up to that point there so um, what I'm going to do is cut four inch strips of five eighths plywood and screw them screw them in there so and then that'll give me something to screw the walls and and uh, all that stuff to once I once the insulation is in there so that's the plan anyways. So I'll just continue on here. Well, I'm back again with a little more progress here. I'm uh, putting four inch strapping that I, or I uh, ripped out of uh, five eighths plywood on, the, uh, on all the walls. Um, and then I'll insulate in behind that out to out to this level. So, I mean, the spray foam I'm sure is going to you know come out past there and places and whatnot. And I'll just have to take a saw or whatever and cut it off. But that's the plan, anyways, is to insulate it uh, out past or 
out to the outside of this um, this plywood here and all these uh, steel uh, cross members or all the steel structure will be uh, encased in the insulation and uh, hopefully that'll keep it from wicking too much uh, cold out through those through all the steel and it'll help anyways um, so I've got uh, pretty much one side done done into the bedroom here uh, across the back I'm just going to start up the other side um, so anyway it's going fairly fairly decent I'm just using uh, uh, self tapping or self self drilling screws into the uh, into the plywood and uh, seems to be working fairly well sucking them down till the heads are flush with the uh, with the plywood and eh, there's a few that are sticking out uh, I'll just either knock them down a little farther or else I'll just take a grinder along afterwards and and uh, knock them down so they're flush so when I put anything over top of it there's nothing nothing uh, hitting it so anyways that's where I'm at for now I'm just gonna start uh, continue on in this corner I put a 45 degree uh, angle kind of thing in the corner here so you know the wall come down here across here then across the back I'm gonna have a, a tape or a, a desk in the corner here that's a the corner desk that has a 45 degree um, whatever you want to call it back on it here anyways so uh, so then uh, it'll just sit in the corner there anyhow hope that all makes sense um, I'm also before I can I'm probably uh, maybe two weeks away from insulating I'm hoping less than that but I got to go along and uh, I want to put these these lights in vertical lights in on the outside first uh, before I get it insulated so I got to do that yet um, and uh, and finish up this this strapping and then clean everything out of it so that won't take long to do I just got to get to it anyways speaking of getting to it I gotta get to it so the strapping is just about done I have I ran it up plywood of course I need one more sheet um, to do the uh, front two slides I've got uh, uh, whatever I think there's six six links there left uh, but I have uh, Anyways, I'll need one more sheet, so, <laughs> of course. Anyways, and then uh, there's the what I was thinking for the ceiling strapping. It's a 3 8 plywood by, uh, by 4 inch, so, and um, I found, I learned something new today. <laughs> uh, if you, if you take a look, these are, are bent to, to uh, <clears throat> follow the curve there. And if you cut them with the grain going across, it bends in there like nothing. And I just kind of discovered that by accident. Probably everybody else on the planet already knows that, but I didn't. And if you have, if you go with it length, the, the grain lengthwise, like this, and try and bend that in there, there is no way it, there's a snowball's chance in hell of that ever bending. Just gonna break. But if you go the other way, it bends in there like nothing. You just push it in and put a screw in it. Nothing to it. So, anyways, learn something new every day. Uh, so then, the, what's my plan there is to uh, go uh, run this uh, strapping all the way across like that on each of these, these, uh, uh, pieces of angle here and then hang the ceiling from that which will be hardwood flooring of some sort I don't know uh, uh, you know what uh, I haven't got it yet um, but uh, something that uh, that looks good anyways I'll figure that out um, I'll probably put the the, uh, the floor in first and then come up with something for for the uh, 
for the ceiling. So I don't know what it'll be yet, but some sort of hardwood flooring. And then I'll just uh, glue and nail it to these uh, to these strips. So, anyways, that's that's my plan. Yeah, we'll see how it works out. And I guess we'll call that it for this video. No point in worrying about filming those uh, slide outs. They're going to be the same as the rest of it. So, and this is probably getting long enough, anyways. So. I'll go ahead and upload for this for you guys, and, uh, and then continue on. The next, uh, the next one will be uh, will be the the um, the spray foam insulation. So, happy day! See you then.